Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So today we're heading back into the kingdom of Varlamore to test out a brand new hunting method. Today we're going to be hunting Moonlight Antelopes. So taking a quick look at the wiki, the Moonlight Antelope is a creature that players can capture with the hunter skill at level 91 by using a pitfall trap. Um, they can be found underground in the hunting guild south past the Moonlight Moths. Although Moonlight Antelopes have a combat level of 47, they cannot be attacked. However, they can attack players once provoked with a teasing stick, dealing up to 5 melee damage. Um, catching a Moonlight Antelope will reward the players with antlers, um, which can be used to create Moonlight Antelope bolts, um, which are stronger ammunition for the hunter, uh, hunter's sunlight crossbow. Now, whenever you capture one of these guys, you will be getting 450 hunting experience, and every single time they will drop Big Bones, Moonlight Antelope Antler, uh, and then we've got the Moonlight Antelope Fur, and the Raw Moonlight Antelope. And there's a 1 in 15 chance for the shard if you are on task with a hunter rumor. So this is the gear that I have. I do not have any of the hunter outfit pieces yet, so I'm just bringing my full graceful and a max cape. Now as for my inventory, I've got the teasing stick, I've got a bunch of logs, um, the large fur pouch, the large meat pouch, the bone crusher, and a knife. So we're going to head over to the Hunter's Guild. Now, easy way to get there is just using a teleport with a um, either a Max Cape or a Hunter's Cape. Um, and then selecting Hunter Area and go over to the Hunting Guild this way. Uh, if you don't have that option, basically what you can do is go to um, the, the Varlamore home point right here and then travel with the bird right here and then just select the hunter, hunting guild and you will arrive this way. It is a little bit slower, but I mean, not everyone would have a 99 hunting cape. Once you're in the guild, you're going to want to go down the stairs right here. This is where you get all of your rumors if you uh, want to get some tasks for hunting. And then you just want to cross the bridge right here and pretty much head south in this like cave area right here. Um, past these little moths, I had them highlighted because I had a task here earlier. But uh, yeah, these are the Moonlight Antelopes. So, and we're just going to get right to hunting them. I think they're very cool looking NPCs, Jagex definitely did a good job with these ones. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is start by setting a trap and then just using a teasing stick and poking the antelope and then running across the trap like this and uh, they'll just walk in, fall and then we can uh, grab our little bit of hunting experience and if you have the bone crusher you'll get 15 prayer XP as well. So as you can see from that catch, we got 4.5k, which isn't bad. Now, if you have the large fur pouch and the meat pouch, you can actually just fill both of these up so that you can continuously do this. And you can even use a chisel on the antelope uh, antlers and pretty much get them to be stackable too. But I'm just going to bank them up for now. So I'm going to probably do this for about 15, 20 minutes and see what the experience rates are like, how this goes, and if I do overall like this method. Okay, so I did the whole inventory right here in literally five minutes, and we've so far I'll put on a screen right now the canvas. We've gained 9,000 hunter experience, and it says we're getting about 83,000 XP per hour. Very chill. Um, I don't know if you can fail these guys, but uh, I didn't fail a single one. And my meat pouch uh, and the fur pouch, um, they both have 20 in them. So this is how I'm going to bank. I guess I'll just use, say, the crap. Actually, you know how to bank more efficiently would probably just be going to the hunting guild right that would make a lot more sense because then we can just run right back there i'm always clicking the farming guild anyways yeah so you'd come up here um head up to the bank and then you can bank these antlers and then obviously all of the meat as well so i've already got uh four so we'll minus that from the end and then we can just empty the oh they come like that that is a little odd that you can't just empty them in the bank like that. But anyways, right back to... up. Oh, forgot the logs. We'll get some more logs and go right back to it. 
one thing that I want to say that maybe should be fixed, I don't know why this isn't an option, maybe there's a reason for it, but you know how, say for the herb sack, um, you could just like have it like open so when you collect the herb, it'll just go right into the bag rather than you have to every single time click fill when you do get one of these and it kind of is a little annoying but uh, maybe that'll be fixed or maybe that was intended for a certain reason. But uh, yeah, I really do like this method overall so far. I can definitely see if you got this as a rumor, like one of the contracts, this would be a very fun and a little bit of a profitable task to do. And it's a 1 in 15 drop rate, so you're, you're going to make some money. Also, I don't think you would have to bring food here. Maybe if you're like a low level player or like a skiller or something like that. I don't know. I... I I don't have any like actual gear on just besides graceful and I rarely ever get damaged and if I do I just regen it before I get damaged again they don't seem to be too much of a threat I thought maybe you could bring some like stackable food or something like that but it doesn't seem to be needed at all and I'm wondering if prayer works like if you could just pray melee or something I want to see if I can get damaged with pray melee on it doesn't seem to be like uh, I'm taking any damage so you could just prayer and every single time you run to the bank just like use the, the pool or something like that I really like this method um I remember like hunting these type of creatures way back in the day like pre EOC when the hides were used for like summoning or something like that and you could just make an absolute ton of money so another thing that I'm gonna do here is you can just set up all of these traps and like uh clear your inventory a bit of the logs and then you have like spaces ready so i could just start teasing this guy um and then not even like get the loot right away just start teasing another guy right and uh then we can continue this to make it a little bit quicker Yep, so that was also another pretty much exactly five minute trip to finish everything off. So we'll come back to the hunting guild. We'll do one more trip. It says we're getting about 90 KXP an hour. Maybe using multiple traps has really made that boost. Whoa, did you just see that? I caught two with the same trap. I don't know if that's a glitch. Okay, so yeah, that 15 minutes is up. We gained 27k hunting experience. Said we are averaging about 90, 90, almost 94k XP per hour. It's slowing down a little bit now as we speak. But yeah, it's not going to be the best XP in the game, but you also get a lot of useful stuff out of it, which is something I really like to see with the hunter skill. There's a couple of things that I can think off the top of my head, like hunting chinchampas or maybe herbivore. You get some, you know, like useful stuff out of, but a lot of the creatures in the game, like red salamanders, is like just a lot of the stuff that you hunt in the game doesn't really have a purpose, like a lot of the furs and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's see how much profit we actually made in just 15 minutes of hunting these guys. We caught 61 in 15 minutes, which is kind of crazy, but yeah, we made 278k in just 15 minutes. So this is over a million GP profit per hour hunting these guys right now, which is awesome. Almost 100,000 XP an hour and almost a million GP per hour for hunting. I really like this a lot. Okay, so what does the raw moonlight antelope do? Basically, you're gonna need level 92 cooking and completion of 50 hunter rumors. I haven't, I don't have that requirement, so I actually can't cook these yet until I get 50 tasks completed. But you will get 220 cooking experience, so it's a pretty decent way of actually training cooking like what you know you're training hunter over time you stack up a bunch of this food you can get some nice cooking experience out of it um and then once you actually cook the the antelope um basically it is the best food in the entire game right now so when you eat the cooked moonlight antelope meat it'll heal 15 hit points immediately and then an additional 12 hit points after 8 ticks, which is 4.8 seconds. So you eat the food, um, you'll be healed 14, you know, and then you take a little bit more damage maybe. And then right again, you can uh, get that 12 additional HP. So in total, it is 26 hit points, making it like the best healing food in the game. It also cures poison. Think about how useful that is. 
it will be able to cure poison and heal you twice for one single inventory spot this is going to be a really good thing to have for tons of different pvm i can even see people using this in pvp and actually right now if you cook them um they're worth a lot more than the raw variant so basically you're making 350 gp every single one that you cook so you're gonna make more than like what i actually got if you cook these now the antelope fur um basically does not currently have a use in the game you can sell it for a couple gp over to this guy right here but it doesn't have a use in the game yet and they're still trading at a thousand gp each which is insane so i'm assuming they're gonna add uh like some more content with maybe varlamore part two where you can use the moonlight antelope fur to maybe create some gear or make make it have some use for crafting or something right so maybe stock up on these <laughs> Yeah, overall, I really do like the method. It's really good hunting experience. You make a ton of money in the process. Or if you're an Iron Man account, you can get some cool supplies, depending on what the fur does in the future. But you're also getting a bunch of food, good food as well. And you can also make some bolts for the uh, crossbow. So there's some pretty cool uses with hunting this creature. It could be a cool and viable way to actually get from, say, 91 to 99 hunting. And you could probably make a ton of profit doing so. Um, also, if you get these as rumors definitely worth doing in my opinion um because they won't take you very long i think that the drop was one in 15 right so like every inventory you should at least get that rumor completed and you're gonna make you know at least a couple hundred k from doing the task well Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I would highly recommend you guys go out and hunt the Moonlight Antelopes. I will catch you in the next video. See ya later. Oh, I forgot to mention we gained 915 Prayer XP as well.